Okay, so today I got some coconuts out of the tree and we're gonna cut those up and show you how to get fresh coconut water. I think we got 11 coconuts. I just, I didn't go up, I just went and got easy ones. That's fresh coconut water. Okay, so there's the coconuts all drained of their water. And there's the coconut water. Uh, almost a gallon for 11 coconuts. Not bad. Well, I don't know if you can hear it, but Today's like really windy. And of course I got a ton of things to do. And the wind is just blowing, but we're making good progress. Did want to go to the beach, but I'm a little nervous with the sky. Okay, so <clears throat> remember I planted the new coconut trees all in there, which now they need rain. And unfortunately, it's been looking like it's going to and then it all broke apart. So this is the second day in a row it's done now. I don't know. It's one of those things that you think it's going to rain, you go and plant something, and now I'm going to have to water everybody. Otherwise, those uh, coconut trees are not going to stand a good chance of surviving, unfortunately. But I'll give them some water and hope it rains. see him. There's a frigate bird up there. They're really cool birds. They can stay up there for ages just hovering on the wind currents. And supposedly there's an island, I haven't found it, but there's an island not too far off here where the frigate birds nest. I think maybe this fall or winter I gotta find it and go out there. Okay this is one of those things that most people say Jericho, but uh, my grandmother was Portuguese, and we call this Chadis. I know that has no correlation to what it looks like, but, and I don't know if it's actually real, but we've always called this Chadis. So tonight we're having this on the grill, and no, you didn't get this here. No, we've never grilled it before. <laughs> True. No, we've never grilled it before. Oh, we're doing hamburgers too. Okay, I got to cook over here tonight, which isn't a normal cooking spot because it's too windy on the other side. Well, you might have guessed, but uh, we're starting to, uh, there we go. We're starting to close up the house and clean up stuff. We're going back to Maine and Vermont for a little while. Sid's gonna go back longer than me. I'm not sure how long I'll be there. I have stuff to do that I can do there. And I wanna see the kids, grandkids, um, do some different things. So, the closing up rot has started. See, we even cleaned the trash barrel up. This grill here, it's a Weber. And this is not an endorsement for a Weber grill, although it could be taken that way. This grill's probably, I don't know, 10, 12 years old. And you know if you've been watching these videos, things down here tend to rust away like nothing. And there are some signs of rust and the bottom parts down here have rusted and you have to cook with it a certain way because the vents don't close anymore but 
it's still our favorite way of grilling. And the thing is still going strong. So it's a wonderful grill. We have one here and we have one in Maine. Okay, just in case I wasn't, I don't know, I forget whether I said it or not, but uh, Cherico, or Chadis as we call it, is a Portuguese hot spicy sausage, makes wonderful Chadis and pepper sandwiches. Um, I think we're going to have a little bit of the pepper with it tonight. That was the aluminum foil. But if you see Cherico, it's actually Chadis. Try it if you like hot spicy sausage. Delicious. Well, tomorrow is a holiday here, and I think it's Emancipation Day. Not exactly sure what that means, but uh, I can almost guarantee you it's going to be like a ghost town here tomorrow. Holiday is here, nobody goes out and about and does things. It's a reason to stay home, avoid the heat, stay in the air conditioning, watch TV. Um, there's going to be a few places open, but not a whole lot. So. Oh, the other part is, I think, there seems to be a pattern that we can only go about three, four weeks, maybe, and then we're going to have some holiday. I don't know what that's all about, but it does seem to be fairly consistent. Okay, see this little lizard right there? See this kitty? This kitty lives to try to hunt these little lizards. Uh, he's not showing up very well. He's going out of focus. Anyway, I think I'm going to intervene and save the little lizard. Well, I saved the little lizard. Hello's gotten plenty of other ones, so that should be fine. And she doesn't actually need them. She has cat food. <laughs> she has copious amounts of cat food down there. So this is just a fun game. Other kitties outside actually need them to live. She doesn't need it to live. All right, it's a spice. It's a okay. spice. All right. Now, what is it? What is it? I don't know. Italian spice. Italian uh, spice begins with a B. It's the Bahamas. <laughs> no, it's not the Bahamas. You don't need spaghetti. No, that's right. I don't know. Italian <laughs> 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 spice. spaghetti. You say it begins with All a right. B? Begins with a B. I'll give you a clue. Basil. 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 Excellent. Go. We have a winner. We have a winner. Looks like somebody's putting on a roof with Spanish tiles. Never done that, so I don't know what they're like. But these look like they're actually cement based, not actually terracotta. But still, that's a lot of tiles to put on. So these, all these tiles up here, you can see the amount of pallets there are. And this is going to have to be a substantially strong roof to hold all these cement tiles. 